I'm Sandra Parker. People are often afraid to experience emotion because they're afraid to be overwhelmed. But I have an equation. Emotion plus anxiety equals overwhelm. If you can manage anxiety, you can avoid overwhelm. All right, Einstein has E equals MC squared, all right? And I think that's a very important equation, I'm sure. I also have an important equation that I want to give the world, and I call it Parker's Theorem, and it is this. Anxiety plus emotion equals overwhelm, all right? This is a very, very important equation because what it says to us is that we need to take care of anxiety before we try and process emotion or we're going to end up overwhelmed, which means we're going to reinforce our original kind of phobia about feeling feelings because, you know, that just leads to bad stuff like overwhelm, okay? So this is really critical. Anxiety comes first, okay? Makes sense. You know, all that safety first stuff out there, all right? Right? Anxiety has to be taken care of first. It's the signal, it's riding on top of that wave, okay? Vulnerable, vulnerable, ooh, ooh, don't know, don't have control, oh, uncertainty, okay? That has to be taken care of with warm attention first. Drop down, then be carried, and you will not be overwhelmed. So if, for you, emotion always leads to overwhelm, it's because you didn't notice that you had anxiety plus emotion, all right? because that's what leads to overwhelm. And so we have to be pristine in our thinking about this, right? And precise in how we be with ourselves and begin to distinguish. Emotion feels different than anxiety. Anxiety isn't an emotion. Anxiety is just a little oh, signal. Oh, 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 ring, ring, phone calling, right? Hello, who's there? My body. Oh, huh, take the call, all right? That's what's going on. I need to deal with that first then I can ride those waves and they won't be too much for me. It's almost like if you think about sound frequency and you've got this, this particular frequency of emotion flowing and you get another signal come in and it's like a jamming frequency and the actual um, uh, frequency of the, si of the signal anxiety bumps up against the frequency of the emotion and the two jam up against each other and you can't get anything out of that that's good. It just it's too much. It's just too much. Right? You need to address the first signal in all the ways that to have and to hold teaches us how to do that. And then the second frequency will just carry you at whatever amplitude it is, but it won't be overwhelming. <laughs>